ninth at Baldur and looking to find another top eight placement, but you have to fight the god of EU, Godly. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I didn't realize he had worked his way up there. Power rank number nine. Well done, Abania. Yeah. Well done. We're seeing the neutral kind of break down here, kind of chipping each other out, figuring out how this set is going to go here. Is uh, Bamia going straight in onto that cannon and trying to get some things moving here against Godly? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's the feel-out stage, you know, uh, game number one. We're not going to be going for any crazy things so far, and Bamiya showing that you don't really need to as Zol. You just do so much damage that even the basic one-twos, the bread and butters, get so much damage built up so quickly on the cannon. Nice oh. down light now. And so far, so good. Okay, that, oh, not enough. Not going to be able to confirm, but he's going to have a hard track getting back up on stage. The Nair is going to send him up to the top, catches a godly on the way back down with an arm, has the axe back in hand, and going to try and confirm this stock and take that early lead. Nice there from godly to break it back up. Nice unarmed side light there from Gothi off the gravity cancel and sets up a clean edge guard sequence to tap that one in. The Ahsoka has been finding a lot of success for Gothi so far. Something about his sword just plays so solidly, like forces you to take some pretty risky ways back to the stage to not give away free edge guards and then finds big ones there and that's going to be an edge guard on the guitars. I can't even finish talking about one thing Godly's good at because he'll just show how good he is at the other thing. <laughs> he literally hacked into Bamia's brain right there. Uh, absolutely outplayed. Bamia though, going to go ahead ahead and finish up with that Nair. Gonna go ahead and take that stock off of Godly, but it is a full stock advantage for Godly right now. And this game number one is Bamiya trying to work at those landings, try and get some more damage up on Godly, but I don't know if it's gonna be able to happen here. Oh, nice Nair off stage, recovery coming back up. Godly looking for an option. His only option right now is to take some more damage for Bamiya though. So we're seeing a nice little exchange back and forth here, center stage. Oh, nice three piece from Bamiya and hunting him down, trying to put some more pressure on, but Godly bringing it back to center stage. We're seeing that good. We're seeing that sword play on oh, the sword play no. on the edge. Finish it up with that ground pound. A very dominating game number one from a godly. Yeah, you saw like the axe come online from Bamiya and finding a lot of that opening damage, but it was a little too little too late. I mean, it just became so difficult when you have that stock lead as Godly who uh, was getting some hits and then immediately switching to the I'm going to stack on you game plan versus axe when you're just right above their head and consistently playing in that range and it worked out in a big way. We see that edge guard with the Katars there. I was just talking about the sword, but um, yeah, I mean, it just became really rough and Godly, I mean, that's like the intrusive thought of intrusive thoughts right. for sword mains. It finally worked out <laughs> like, for Godly. He, he really Really went off stage with that ground he, pound. He just ground pounded, dude. It, it, you cover like right before the wall, not exactly the wall, catches the dodge. Wait perfectly. for them to, you know, they got, they're trying to jump off yeah, exactly. out of the way of it. Yeah, perfect, a perfect uh, read. And gonna go ahead and confirm that game uh, number one. He is gonna stick to that Ashoka. Um, and uh, Bamia is obviously gonna stick to that Zul. And here we go. A game three, uh, number two, two three, two, one. We're dropping in, and um, we're gonna see how this game number two uh, plays out here. Yeah. I yeah. found the Axe was doing uh, a lot better for Bamiya, especially in that last stock that he had. He was getting a lot of damage on Godly, so, you know, I, I do think it could definitely work out for Bamiya. Um, but already starting off on the cannon versus the sword and finding some big open up, goes to the gravity cancel down light to catch a jump back. Godly doesn't give it and gives some damage to Bamiya. You make a small mistake versus Godly, he gets back on stage, you're taking the Godly tax. Yeah, absolutely. And Godly having his old, uh, doing his thing right here on the right man. side. and. But you need that, didn't have an option to take him further off stage. Just bring him back over to the left. We're gonna go ahead and finish it up. A beautiful Sarah to finish off of that combo in another early lead coming for the way of a godly as he continues to try and drive this one home. I mean, gets a neutral light there on the axe. The axe found a lot of success in the last game, but a little, but a little too late into the game. So I'm happy to see it work out here. Goes for the side stick there. Doesn't find it. Godly on the guitars. He's been finding some pretty big open ups versus the axe. Gets a Nair and stacks on top of the axe where you have a little bit of a dead zone. Oh, I thought Bobby was going to catch that landing. Godly oh, no. didn't have anything except sweat beats. <laughs> He's so good with the, the side lights and the side airs Dude. off that sword. Just, he hits so many. Nope. Just nope. Any, anytime you think you're going to come in and get that opener, oh, nice gravity cancel, a down sig off of uh, Bamia right there. Going to go ahead and confirm that stock. And um, he, I mean, things looking a little closer in this game number two. Uh, Bamia definitely not going backwards. Yeah, exactly. The Zol Axe online now getting some big damage on Godly already has, uh, you know, around 70 damage on Godly from those couple hits. And that's going to be a side sig to close it out for Godly, though, as we get into another last stock situation. I believe Bamia has a... A uh, cannon in the back pocket here, and we'll see if the cannon can find some success into the Katars that Axe did in. Nice open up there for Godly, who gets in there and throws away the weapon. Looks to see, looks to be continuing to play the uh, sword into it. No, never mind, just goes back into a Katar. 
I mean, Godly is not only taking these stocks, he's taking them so quick. Yeah. A minute and a half into this game, and Bami is on his last, uh, Bami is on his last stock. Yeah. I mean, Godly is making a quick work here. The weapon throw, he got back out there, caught the catch, and not going to uh, do anything for him, though. Is uh, Bamia going to go ahead and confirm that stock? Taking Godly down to his final stock, you did point out before we came into the set, though, that, I mean, we look at the history, Bamia is usually pretty good about at least taking one game in that set. Yeah, exactly. Nice neutral light there to send off stage. Bami in a bad spot here. Godly's been very good at, at scooping with the down light. As he does that, he whiffs it, and Bami gets a reversal, but it doesn't quite matter because Godly sends coast to coast, gets the cider on the right side of the stage to close out game number two. It, these are really fast games. Like, these are extremely fast games. 547 damage on the side of Godly, and it happened in a quickness. I mean, it's just been it's just been <laughs> Dude, very, very so snappy. Quick. And it's like, you think, well, you know, when Zol is uh, on the screen, it's usually the Zol making the games quickly, mm -hmm. but Godly's Ahsoka, no matter on the Katars or the Sword, has been fighting crazy damage crazy quick. Bami, I think, uh, absolutely correct. I think Bami's doing the right thing, though, right? Yeah. Uh, obviously, it wasn't feeling it. Okay, you know what? Game number three, I'm down to. Let me go ahead and reset. Not just the game, but you get that second to yeah. go ahead and make the mental reset, yeah. bring it back in, and um, see uh, what we can make happen because it is, I mean, it is a uh, winner's side situation here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see, looks like we're going to get a uh, drip swap. Drip swap. I mean, you know, sometimes the vibes are what matters the most, and switching the skin can bring that Wait, here. Wait, this isn't Bami, yeah? Well, we'll be we'll be uh, waiting for Bami to, to get back into it, uh, nonetheless. But still, uh, I think the Zol, uh, would, you know, you have to come in with a different energy on mm -hmm. Zol. I think when you have all that damage, you're like, I have to be the one that's pushing the pushing the the um, the aggression and really trying to get the big damage. But Godly kind of beating you at your own game. Maybe now it's time to step into that other game where you know see other cannon players who lean on the cannon to be more of like a structure weapon, down like Nair, you know, getting the one two hits and then relying on the axe. The axe was struggling because um, Godly was stacking on him but it still did a lot of damage so absolutely yeah. absolutely he just but you got that nine attack and the damage yeah. can build up very very mm -hmm. very quickly mm -hmm. um but we just weren't seeing those big extensions off the axe and yeah. i think if he can uh well no we're gonna we're just gonna have a swap we're not even gonna see the axe. he's gonna lock in on val and i i think i, I kind of agree with this uh -huh. i think this is a i think this is a good counter um for the speed and the um the speed and the just the play style of godly yeah. being able to maybe thread back and get some of those good attacks and work that maybe work that sword against him we'll yeah see. Ex exactly i think val is really really solid at using sword and if you're feeling confident in your movement and you're confident that you can keep up with what godly's doing uh, no better legend, I think, than switching over to the Val and trying to contend on the Swords. As well as the Gauntlets, too, for Bamiya, who starts off in the Gauntlets versus Qatar matchup. See what happens here. Godly with a big side light into the down light. Doesn't get much of an extension, but Bamiya looking to throw that weapon away as Godly has been finding too much success on these juggles. We will be saying oh, it a no. lot today because Godly <laughs> is just too consistent when juggling. But a big reversal situation. Shades of that second stock of the last game for Bamiya here. Oh, no, we're seeing another very quick stock oh, come out of Godly here. We are 30, 4, 35 seconds in right now, and Godly is all but got it out of here. Oh, no, Bobby doesn't have the options. No, the neutral sink isn't going to bring him over. Not enough momentum off that uh, off that upward movement, and um, Godly's got a very comfortable lead here in game number three. Couldn't go for the side sig either because the side sig, when it's the aerial version, it sends down. So wouldn't be able to touch it nonetheless. So Godly really just covered all the options. He even missed the connection on recovery and still find a side air off of it because it kind of pops you into a, you know the same spot. And so far, Godly's been all too confident and just fighting and pushing the aggression versus Bamiya, who hasn't found any room to breathe since it feels like the first game. No, no. Godly is... Uh is definitely uh, been taking control so far in this set, to put it absolutely lightly. I mean, uh, Bami has you know, brought us down to that final stock. Yeah. Got, you know, got a little close, but not quite enough to be able to confirm a game yet. And it's looking just as rough for him here in this game number three. Golly, oh no. Getting in front of him, gonna go ahead and get that reversal, sending him out and gonna confirm that stock. And here we go again. We're a minute 30 in and Bami is on his final stock. Dude, Godly just does, he just does the game quickly. <laughs> he plays Brahala faster. I mean, it's just been too quick uh, for Bamiya Ooh. here who uh, Ooh. gets a nice reversal. Both of them dodging nice and was able to play very uh, heads up, seeing that Godly was above him. So he went for the turnaround uh, side light, caught the landing and it worked out. Caught me by surprise. I thought Godly was going to send him up in the air, and that is not how it went down. Yeah. Bamiya missing with that Sarah, trying to find something coming down with the uh, the down air. Godly, though, sending him up into the sky, catching that laning again on the edge with that Sarah. That is just so good. Missing that down light there, but still getting a neutral light in time to punish Bamiya's attempt to punish. Down light into Sarah doesn't connect. What? Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Yeah. 
Um, a 507 damage uh, coming off a of godly in uh, that final game. And um, sometimes it just be like that. He just did not get over um, whatever happened there. Uh, but I think um, I, I think everything was kind of sealed at that point anyway, though. Yeah, so. yeah. God, God, Godly was just playing.